These are trying times for many hospitals in the U.S., particularly in interior states like Colorado. We've had a very significant outbreak of coronavirus here in western Colorado. Dr. Corey Klein heads Family Health West in Fruta, Colorado. It's been keeping our hospitals at or near capacity for over a month now. It was back in March when the Delta variant of the coronavirus first grabbed a foothold in the U.S. It's now the dominant strain of COVID-19 in this area, and it's acting differently than the disease doctors treated before. Now we're actually having to be more suspicious of people with um, more subtle symptoms like uh, abdominal pain, diarrhea, uh, but there is plenty of cough and shortness of breath as well. COVID-19 cases have shot up across the country, up 94% in the past two weeks, according to a New York Times tracker. Hospitalizations are up 16% in that same time frame. The Delta variant has fueled that surge, a trend that's being seen worldwide. The virus is showing us right now that it's thriving. This is not theoretical. We're not talking about a what-if situation right now. We're not talking about preparing for a surge. It's happening now. Arkansas, Missouri, Nevada, and Louisiana are among the U.S. states being hit particularly hard right now. Delta cases have risen primarily in places where fewer folks have their vaccination cards. For the, the more severe symptoms requiring emergency room visits as well as hospitalization, that's been almost exclusively unvaccinated individuals. Unvaccinated people now comprise 99% of COVID-19 deaths nationwide. Klein says vaccine hesitancy is a major problem in rural parts of Colorado at a time when mask orders and indoor gathering restrictions have been lifted statewide. A lot of people don't perceive their church family uh, or their regular family as risky. And so the perception of risk in a more spread out area, I think, is different than in a more compact urban area. This is your shot, Western Colorado. Help end COVID-19. A new public service announcement urges residents to get vaccinated. Health professionals are going to local businesses, even farmers markets, to get the job done. I think people in rural areas tend to take longer to digest information. And uh, so I think you have to keep keep the message out there until they have the time to receive it. Time is running short, though. A number of elderly residents here remain unvaccinated. Schools also start up in a month amid fears the Delta variant may pose a greater risk to children than earlier strains. The slight dip in cases this area is seeing now may not last for long. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.